Hey YouTube, it's Drew918. This is just a quick video, I'm going to talk about taking the shot. Once you get to a final fire position on FFP, <coughs> some of the things you actually need to start thinking about. First thing you need to think about is getting your weapon on a stable platform. Do this by using your bipod, up against a tree, or even up against a wall, like I'm doing in this situation. Next thing you need to think about is getting that butt of the weapon into the shoulder. Get nice and secure. Weapon shouldn't be moving now. Should be nice and secure. Thirdly, get your head down onto the cheek crest, looking down the sights. So if the target does appear, there's going to be no hesitation from you. You are now ready on the target. <laughs> Ideally, you're going to be using a spotter left or right of you. He's going to be watching the, the bigger area, making sure you're not going to get flanked by the enemy. Once you've done this and you're now sat in your fire position, just waiting for the enemy to up here, get your breathing controlled you should be doing this as soon as you get into a fire position control your breathing one of the biggest problems with misfires and shots is breathing you actually, the end of the actual barrel is actually in a different position when your breath is in than when your breath is out it moves up and down again the barrel's got about over half a metre barrel to travel down before it actually exits the end of the barrel so if you're moving because of breathing when it travels down that barrel, it could be getting knocked off in any sort of way. And in this spin that a lot of guys ask about, why is my why is my BB spinning all the time? It could be because of this, because you're actually it's actually rubbing off the side of the barrel on the way down because you're breathing in on the shot. Way to serve this: don't hold your breath. It's not like holding your breath. It's not like the games. All you do is breathe in, fire, breathe out, breathe in, fire, breathe out reason for the always doing it on the in-breath or the out-breath, it's up to you which one you want to pick, is because that means the barrel's always in the same position. It may not look like much in the sight, but it is a lot. Second thing you want to do, eh, last thing you want to do, sorry, make sure the weapon is cocked, as this one is already. You want to do it nice and slowly. Your breathing's controlled, weapon supported, target's in front, just about to take the shot, Steady, breathe in, and when you're taking the shot, don't bash the trigger. Squeeze the trigger slowly until you feel it pop, then release. The pause in this is just to give that BB a good enough time to travel down the barrel. If you snap that trigger, it's going to bounce that barrel all over the place. Once you've taken the shot, don't go into a panic, start cocking the weapon, stay perfectly still. There's a good chance if you're good. If you're all gillied up, they don't know where that shot come from. Slowly cock the weapon. Bring it back nice and slowly. And then forward nice and slowly. And that's you ready for your second shot. Once the panic's dispersed or they're not looking at you, take your second shot. Right guys, hopefully this helps. Check out my Facebook page, uh, uh, check out my YouTube page for more videos like this. But the other thing to check out is my Facebook page. The comments are getting and the questions and comments get answered a lot quicker on my Facebook page. If you've not subscribed to me already, please check out my YouTube page. There's always more videos like this on the YouTube page. Uh, thanks for the support, thanks for all the subscriptions, and uh, thanks for watching.